Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following factoring examples. 2a, 4m squared minus 9b squared. So again, before we begin with this example, remember there's a formula called the difference of squares. a squared minus b squared equals to a minus b times a plus b. So now we can apply this concept by expressing it as 2m in brackets square or 2m quantity square minus 3b in brackets square. When you keep going, this is again a square minus b square, which is a minus b times a plus b. So this becomes 2m minus 3b multiplied by 2m plus 3b. And of course, if you would like to double check, all you have to do is expand, which will give you back the original question. Part C, uv plus 2u minus 5v minus 10. Think about this in terms of two pairs, factor by grouping. If you think about uv plus 2u, factor u to the front in the brackets will be v plus 2. In the second pair, there's a common factor of negative 5, and in the brackets will be v plus 2 again. So notice there's a common factor. So bring the common factor to the front, v plus 2 in brackets, multiply by u minus 5. And again, if you want to double check, all you have to do is expand this, which would give you the original question back. Part D, 10 c squared minus 60, c, uh, 60 times cd plus 80 d squared. So step one, common factor of 10, bring that to the front. In the brackets, it's going to be c squared minus 6 times cd plus 8d squared. Step number two, this is simple factoring. c will go here, d will go here, and of course, c times c is c squared. When you think about the factors of 8, that will give you a sum of negative 6. Those numbers are negative 2 and negative 4. So again, if you multiply negative 2 and negative 4, they'll give you positive 8. If you add them, they'll give you negative 6. If you want to double check, all you have to do is expand this, to get the original question back. Let's hop over to page two. I, eight times a to the power of three times b plus 12a squared times b minus 20ab. So again, step one, there's a common factor of four. Also, think about a, a squared, and a cubed. There's a common factor of a. Likewise, there's a common factor of b. So, I'm going to shift this question at the bottom, actually, so there's more space. Now, if I think about the fir first term in the brackets, 4 times 2 will give you 8 back. A times A squared will give you A cubed. And of course, 1 times B is B. Likewise, if you think about the next term, 4 times 3 will give you 12. A times A is A squared. B times 1 is B. And of course, last but not least, 4 times negative 5 is negative 20 just like that. So now you want to go back and say, are we done? Or could this be factored a little bit more? And by inspection, this is the final answer. So all you're doing is you're taking a common factor. And sometimes this trinomial could be factored as a product of two binomials. Uh, in this case, let me see, can we still factor this? Actually, you know what? Let's take a look at it one more time. I copy for AB and I think about 2A, that's 2A times A. If I think about 5 and 1, by the way, the only way to make a sum of 3 is by taking 5 minus 2. So you can actually factor a little bit more, just like that. Now, if I hop over again to part J, which I'll shift back to this space here, the question says A plus 3B quantity square minus 25. So again, difference of squares, A plus 3B quantity square minus 5 square. Think about the difference of squares a plus 3b minus 5. a plus 3b plus 5, just like that. Again, not to overstate this, you want to double check, expand, you'll get the question back. Great start, great finisher. What about part m? 5mx plus 10m minus 7x minus 14. I would like you to pause the video. Try factoring by grouping or two pairs. When you're done, press play again. I'll be here. Welcome back, everybody. So again, there's a common factor of 5m, which means in the brackets will be x plus 2. 
In the second pair, there's a common factor of negative 7. Again, in the brackets will be x plus 2. Notice there's a common factor of x plus 2, which means in the second bracket, it's going to be 5n minus 7, just like that. If you find this video meaningful, it's adding value to your math life, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. I hope this makes sense.